the world. What's up? It's Jay Shanice. Listen, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, honey. We've been mothering out here, okay? We've been trying our best out here. You know, it's hard to keep a child alive. I don't know if people don't tell you, but it's hard to keep a child alive any day, okay? Like, woo! I've been a mother for almost 19 years. 19 years I've been mothering, okay? And you never stop mothering until I go in the grave. So I'm going to be a mother forever. Oh, listen. So <laughs> I know I've been gone for a long time because Love is Blind took me out. It took me out, child. I was exhausted after Love is Blind. It took all my energy, all my stuff. I said, I can't do it. I can't do it. I needed a break. Now I'm back from the break because we got some shows coming out Friday, don't we? We got the Africans coming. We got Selling Sunset. I, did wa I didn't watch Indian Matchmaker. I lied and told y'all I did, but I did. I watched Jewish Matchmaker, okay? I did watch that. That was cute enough, I guess, or whatever. And I watched Queen Charlotte. And I know some of y'all was like, I cried. It broke me into pieces. And I said, it did nothing for me. It did nothing for me. I was just like, okay, this is good. I mean, I like Bridgerton. I like Queen Charlotte. It was enjoyable. I just, I understand when at the end he was just like, you didn't go over the wall. And people said that just broke them. And I was like, I wouldn't have went over that wall. You got dementia or Alzheimer's this early? I don't know. I can't deal. You only 21? I can't deal. I just don't love like that, okay? I don't wish that love upon me or you. I'm just telling you, that's struggle love. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna be writing on my walls, talking to the moon and gardening at one o'clock in the morning. I can't do it, okay? Queen or not. And then your mama was trying to rub the black off my skin. I just can't do it. You know, and 15 kids, she had 15 kids with that crazy fool, okay? And we only seen eight of them. I'm just saying, Lady Danger. Dander, what, how do you say it? Lady Danbury, Danbury. Lady Danbury was getting done by that old man. Okay, that remind me of the color purple. I said, I can't. How he died on top of me. Woo, child. I said, oh, no. And she popped out four kids by that old line man. Talking about he had all this and he had all that. And at the end of the day, he didn't. Whew, it was a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, but it was a good series. It just was, to me, I didn't cry and all that. I was just like, okay, it was good. Like, I'm going to give it what it gave. But why did we only get six episodes? We couldn't get eight. We couldn't get ten. Okay, I'm always asking for more, 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 more. But I did watch it. I'm not doing a full review on it, but I watched it. It was enjoyable. Now, let's get on to what's been going on in my life this week. Okay, listen, y'all. I got the scariest phone call this week. My daughter called me in a panic. Get somebody over here. I said, what's going on? She's like, there's a snake trying to get in the house. Listen, my biggest fear are snakes and worms, okay? I don't like nothing that do like this. I don't like it. I don't give a damn, okay? She called me. I started screaming. Do y'all hear me? I start, I was in a small town outside of Wichita because I was working. Y'all, I was terrified. I called my best friend and her son. They came over here, knocked on it. She said it didn't come. So let me, listen, listen. You see the top of that closet right there? So on our front door, we have the same wooding. And it's been loose or whatever, okay? I know, I never called to get it fixed, just whatever. I just popped it back on there, right? The snake was coming down from there. She said she seen something in the corner of her eye, but she thought it was a bug. And then at first she thought it was a worm. Then it got longer, it was coming. And she was like, and it was green and she started screaming. She said she jumped on the beanbag, she was scared. But it was like it got stuck trying to get out and then her screaming scared it, so it went back up in there. A child, I was scared to come home. I'm not even gonna lie to you. My friend and her son came over. My friend was scared. Her son and her came over with brooms, uh, shovels, okay, and was banging on the thing. But the snake never came down. My baby didn't pee. She didn't eat until I got home. But listen, I have my homeboy. He live in the country, okay? He live in the country. He came over. He lifted up the couch. He looked through the rooms. He said, I gotta look through everything because your mama is a trip. She will mess around and not come home. Because I was thinking, you know what? <laughs> I've been needing some me time. I think I'm about to go to the Hyatt because I can't go home. I cannot go home because I'm terrified, okay? You know, 
I never thought I'd be a mother that would be like, fuck them kids. But when I got that phone call, I was like, fuck them kids in that bunny. Okay? Because, baby, I'm not Idris Alba. You know how Idris Alba was fighting that line in the movie? <laughs> That's not the kind of parent I am. I was like, Jesus. And I had my homeboy. He went out to eat near my house i said you need to stay there because listen i don't know if i can go in that house i just can't do it even though she said the snake never came back down i called my landlord i listen i was like listen she said oh what we will have maintenance over there in two hours two hours that anaconda could get me <sighs> y'all so my homeboy came back when i was about to come home and y'all he's talking about you gotta go in that apartment your daughter is in that apartment <laughs> I'm scared. I don't even go in that part of the zoo. When my daughter's going to that zoo, I'll be like, I'll meet you at the exit because I do. That's how bad I am terrified of snakes. Okay. So he had to make me get up in there and he opened the door. I ran through. He said, your mama ain't ran since 1999. I said, whatever. Okay. I was scared. My baby was sitting on a stool with her broom. She had some bags because she listened, She got on the internet and was like, how to catch a snake. She had a bowl of water. She tore up a shoe box because she was going to catch it, you know? And I was like, oh, no, okay? I was like, "Would you? what would you have done? She was like, I would have watched where it went so I could tell them where it went. Who, child, why did I scream and say, get Aladdin? Because I didn't know if he was trying to get my bunny or whatever, okay? Looking for some food or whatever. Y'all, I was so scared. The maintenance man came. He took it off. Y'all, the, the thing was like this gap to where something could come through. So he had to spray that foam and all that. I was terrified. My whole house sm smelled like pneumonia. Is that how you say it? Ammonia? A pneumonia? Whatever, however you say it. Because my homegirl said, go to the Dollar General, get some, because they don't like that smell. And drench an old t-shirt or a towel and put it in front of the door. Y'all, I had a spray bottle and everything. I was spraying. My whole house smelled like it. I don't give a damn. I was. T I still got the heebie-jeebies. I still, I don't even know how I'm here right now. I still got the, I was going to look for a new apartment. And my homeboy said, now, you know, you ain't going to find no apartment that cheap where you live. I was like, you right. I got to rethink this. I got to rethink this. And then I called my homegirl, told her what happened. She's like, bitch, you ain't no Jennifer Lopez. I said, bitch, it was an anaconda. I don't give a damn. I was terrified. You know, I had two roommates. I have the smallest room. Because I live in a two-bedroom, so I gave the girls the master bedroom. But my oldest be sleeping in the living room. Her and Aladdin be hanging out in the living room. And, you know, she moved her futon into my, from the bedroom, because she never sleeping there, but she got a brand new futon. Moved it into my small ass room, her and Aladdin. I had two roommates. I said, it's Mother's Day. Y'all got to get the hell out, okay? Y'all got to get out tonight, okay? She talking about, I'm not sleeping in there, so she gonna go back to her bedroom that she ain't slept in, I don't know how long, and she gonna sleep in there with her sister. I said, Lord, I still got the heebie-jeebies. I'll be doing this. I'm paranoid. Do you hear me? Paranoid. I call my cousin. He do makeup for the stars in, in Hollywood. He talking about, you live in Kansas. I mean, snakes and spiders. Spiders is one thing, because I can get the spray and spray them. I can vacuum them. I can, you know, I can handle that. They scare me, but I be, and I got a flip-flop. You know, listen, a snake. <laughs> baby, I, my baby said, Mama, I'm glad you wasn't here. I'm glad I didn't have to go to work till 4 o'clock, because, Mama, you would have been scared. Girl, I would have passed out. I would have broke my ankle, broke my arm. I would have passed out. That snake would have been on top of me. Just, oh, God, oh. I'm just terrified. And listen, I was like, I don't need a Mother's Day gift because I was a trash-ass mother this week, baby. I wasn't trying to come home. I wasn't trying to come in my apartment. I was trying to get a new apartment. I was going to move out and leave her in the bunny here. I, listen, mm -mm, mm -mm. and now I'm scared to go out my own front door knowing it was there, like it was coming down because we just, you know, y'all, that was my, that's the start of my week. Was that Monday or two? Like it was the start of the week, honey. Whew, child. I'm so glad my baby was here. She's like, mama, I'm glad it was me and not you because you are, they know I'm deathly afraid. Like, deathly afraid. Lizards too. My homegirl got a lizard and her son will chase me around with the lizard when I come over there. I, I can't. So the whole house was smelling like that. I went to the Dollar General. When I went to the Dollar General to get the pneumonia, I got some now layers too. Y'all know me. I love me a good now later. I was like, my anxiety is high. My homeboy had to sit over here for hours. He fell asleep on the couch because I was like, I got to go get my other daughter from school. And I got to take this one to work. How am I going to get out the door? He had to stay, y'all. Mm-hmm. And the maintenance man was like, if I knew you was that scared, I wouldn't have stopped to at Freddy's and got me a burger. I would have came right over here. 
Listen, the way they do me. The way they do me, child. So that was, listen, I ain't no Idris Alba, honey. I don't fuck around with the wildlife, okay? I wouldn't have been fighting that lion if I can't fight a garden snake. What do you think? We in this together, okay? Anyways, that was, listen, I'm glad to be alive, to be here, to share this story with y'all, because I was terrified. I don't like no worms. I don't like any of that. Now when I'm outside, I'm just paranoid. Huh, yeah, my cousin like, duh. I'm like, shut up. Did I tell you one time he put a garden snake in my cup that I was drinking Kool-Aid out of? Oh, yeah, this motherfucker tortured me as a child, tortured me as a teenager. I think we were teenagers. Teenagers. Who put a snake through the door? Oh, yeah, he's an asshole. Anyways, on to the next. Y'all, I'm thinking about going to college. I think about bettering myself. I think about getting some more education and not in nursing. Because, you know, if you don't know, I'm a CNA, HHA for hospice. I'm not doing nursing. I can't stand it. I don't like it. I'm good at it, but I don't want to further my, it done raised my children, gave us a decent life. I don't have no complaints, but I feel like I'm ready to go to college <laughs> at my big age. As my kids will say at your big age, I am ready to go to college. I'm really thinking about going to college for communications. So I did apply to university today. I am so excited. Happy mother's day to me. Um, you know, work has been a lot this week also because I totally got into it with a nurse about gloves, but not really because she's like, can you take gloves to this facility? I'm like, it's a facility. Uh, you be at the office all the time not doing your job. So I just thought that since you be at the office all the time, you could take the gloves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't say it like that, but in a sense like that. Like, girl, I be here, there, 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 there. Because when you're a hospice aide, you're not in one spot. You're going maybe to people's houses, facilities, assisted living, independent living, nursing home. Like we basically were a glorified bath aid, okay? Glorified. And so I was just thinking, shoot, why can't you take it? No big deal, right? I didn't think nothing of it. Since I had a short day, I went ahead and got the gloves. I never texted her back. I was just like, whatever. She gonna end up telling our boss that I wouldn't get the gloves. But my boss already seen me with the gloves. Like, what are you talking about? You know, just that little petty stuff. And then we got called into the office. Mind you, we both black. But she one of them ones that think she white. And I'm like, girl, you ain't white. You ain't white. I'm telling you. Get out of these people's face. Just do your job. Stay out of these people's face. Because, you know, you don't want to be in their face, right? We get called into the office. And I'm like, she's like, I just didn't want you to be mad at me. But she was talking shit to me on the little tiger text we got, okay? Trying to bait me in to cuss her ass out. And I was like, you're not going to bait me in. You're not. At my big age, you can't bait me in. Because if you bait me in, you're going to be crying and going to therapy after I get done with you. Okay? So, I, you're not going to bait me in. She's like, then go off. Go off about what? You already tattletale to the boss. And I already did what I was supposed to do, even though it's a facility and they already got gloves. And my boss going to say, this is the first thing my boss said. It wasn't a tattletale situation. Oh, yes, it was. Yeah, she snitched. She tattletale. She thought now she thought I was gonna get in trouble. I've been here longer than you, ho. And I ain't never had this issue with a nurse. But you got an issue with me, okay? And I was like, listen, I told my boss, listen, honey, in these kind of words, I've been in therapy since 2016. This hoe has never been to therapy and she needs it. Period. <laughs> listen, I don't have time for the pettiness at work. I'm just one of them girls that work do my job, and I want to go home. That's it. I'm not trying to be your friend. I ain't trying to be your homegirl. I was just stating, hey, you be at the office all the time. You grab the gloves. You know, it's like, I had, I had six visits to do. Sometimes us aides have eight or ten visits to do. What the fuck? Do you see us complaining? Are you serious? And she just one of the ones that act brand new a little bit act like she can't do nothing. She was never an aide first. I like those nurses that was an aide first, work their way up because usually they the best nurses. No hate on some of y'all girls that just went into nursing. Doesn't mean you a good nurse, but I'm telling you, them ones that started from CNA and worked their way up, I love them nurses. They hands on, they get down. They know what we be going through. Even though we don't complain, we just do it. That You know, I just, I don't have time for that. This is work. And for her to just be like, I just didn't want you to be mad at me. I sat there and smiled with my boss. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with this bitch. I'm just fine. We've never had this issue before. I don't know. I don't know why I'm in here. I 
literally don't know why I'm in here. She needs to be worried about her damn job and doing her job because quiet as it's kept, these white hoes around the job is whispering about your ass not doing your job. And I ain't say shit. I ain't say shit because I mind my business. And you got my black ass in here with your black ass. And what the fuck? And got this white woman in the middle of our black ass business <laughs> over some gloves. Talking about it ain't a tattletale situation. Yeah, she's snitching. She's a tattletale. She sure is. Huh. <sighs> And let me tell you about another reason I want to go to college too. Because that sh is too petty for me and I'm too grown for that. And I'm just, I'm a worker bee, okay? I'm just a worker. That's it. I'm just a girl that do my job, talk sh while I'm doing it. That's what I do. Another situation happened to another home health aide. And, you know, it was nurses week. But our job always has extra snacks, cookies, donuts, blah, 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 blah. Right? She went in there to grab a cookie. One of the supervisors yelled at her and was like, this is not for you. That's for the nurses. Put it down. It's not for you. What? Are you serious? Like, that's the kind of, and then they say, don't say you're just an aide. But when you're talking to us crazy about gloves and cookies, that makes it seem like we're just aides. You get what I'm saying? And the aide was shaking and crying when she left. None of the nurses had her back. And I don't ever want to feel like I can't stand up for somebody because I'm scared I'm going to lose my job. And she said all the nurses text like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. No, why did none of y'all stand up and defend her? Hey, don't talk to her like that. You want that cookie? Take that damn cookie. It's just a damn cookie. But hey, we're not just AIDS, but they can talk to us crazy about cookies and gloves. I'm just telling you, have you in the office over gloves and cookies? <laughs> it's ridiculous and I like my job but when it comes to little petty sh like that with these nurses if you were busy doing your job you wouldn't be worried about gloves and cookies that's all I'm saying and to be so scared to not stand up for another co-worker because you scared you're gonna lose your job that's the kind of life I don't want don't need because I'm one of them nonsense people and if you're doing something wrong or talking to somebody crazy I'm gonna let you know honey I'm gonna let you know don't talk to nobody crazy if you wouldn't want nobody talking to you like that don't have me in this office about gloves if you wouldn't want another to have you in the office about gloves you get what I'm saying who is this been a week and that's why I applied to college because I said listen I, I don't want to do this I'm a youtuber I'm a YouTuber and a mother, okay? I'm a YouTuber and a mother and a stand-up comedian. I don't have time for this, okay? Who? What's the other thing? So, some of y'all might not know, I am getting surgery, okay? I'm getting rid of my fufa, okay? So, I had to take my blood test, my urine test, all that stuff. But my urine came back. She said my urine didn't come back right, and that they thought there was blood in my urine. And she asked if I was on my period. And I was like, girl, I'm not on my period. But I don't know this birth control in me. It, you know, this Moraine will be doing whatever I want to do. But I don't think I am. So they said I had to take another urine test. Y'all, I'm one of them obsessive people. I went and got an Azo UTI test and all that stuff. Because people are like, it possibly could be a UTI, right? I done took the test. I done bought like three of them, girl, for $12 at Target. It was like $12.98, okay? Okay, that's Walmart price was $12.99, okay? And I bought three of them obsessed. I was drinking water. My stomach was feeling all bloated because I was drinking so much water, drinking cranberry juice, 100% cranberry juice. Ew, I'm a cranberry grape type of hoe, okay? Ew, cran apple, something like that. Not that 100% shit. I said, ooh, I'm gonna have hair on my chest messing around. I took the cranberry pills. I was testing. I was doing all the tests. So Monday, I decided to have my little daughter, my baby girl, pee on it. And I was like, wait, you got the same results I got that was like one box was purple and one box was white. And I was like, what? And everybody said I would know if I had a UTI. But I'm like, I don't think I have a UTI. I don't feel no pain. Every time I got to pee, I pee, honey. I definitely pee. So, I, you know, I'm like, I don't know. So after she took it and then my dumb butt not getting on there on the reviews and where the pictures were and people were saying it's giving a false positive because I was, my anxiety was already high, okay? So I ended up taking the test and my doctor called me because I had to go to my primary care doctor because they wanted to make sure everything was good or I was not going to be able to get my tummy tuck. So I, and, and the whole thing y'all is so crazy because I was worried about my iron. So I've been taking liquid iron since I found out about the, like talked about the tummy tuck and all that, which I will give y'all more details once 
it goes. I'm thinking about vlogging it, but I don't know. Because, you know, I'm not a vloggy girl. I'm a talky girl. So, I um, thought it was going to be my blood because of my iron and stuff. I just... Sometimes I'm on the fence. My doctor said I'm on the fence of I could take iron or I don't have to. So I decided to take iron because I don't want my iron levels to be low. But come back, my urine all fucked up. Okay? So I end up having to call my primary care doctor and get the, the urine test through them. And they said everything's good. So I turned that in Thursday. So hopefully this week I will be getting a date for my surgery, which I will be having my surgery probably before June because the blood work is only good for 30 days. And I took that on May 3rd. So a girl will be getting rid of her fufa. Okay. Happy mother's day to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy new year, Merry Christmas and Thanksgiving. Okay. I will be getting rid of this little mom bod. Okay. And don't tell me you can go to the gym. All that. Now I'm not going to the goddamn gym. Okay. This belly can get gone. I see girls with the same belly as mine get tummy tucks and they look good my homegirl got a tummy tuck and a boob job she looks beautiful she looks amazing so i am excited okay i'm gonna be ready for the fall and not the summer because i gotta wear all that fire high and all that junk and heel and all that but baby come the fall <laughs> i'm gonna be seems like you're ready hey hey and my friend was like girl you ain't gonna want to have sex till about august August, damn, I'm gonna be a born again virgin again. You know, every year I'm a born again virgin, so <laughs> I'm deaf. It's gonna be tight, tight, okay. Anyways, that's really all that's been going on in my life, my crazy life. But yeah, so the urine test came back good. I'm on track to get my tummy tuck. I am so excited. Y'all would not believe when I tell you about this tummy tuck and the situation and all that. Y'all are not going to believe the story. You know, I always got some stories. Like, it is crazy, but I am excited about that. I'm excited about going back to college, okay? Because I tried to go back to college back in the days when the girls was young, but I feel like when you're a single young mother, it's hard to go to college if you don't have the support. And I didn't have the support, you know? So I, I just couldn't handle college work, plus having little children. It was a lot, but now that the girls is bigger, my oldest is 18, about to be 19, my little one is 14, about to be 15, I feel like this is the perfect time for mama to go get her college degree, okay? So I can have more stories to tell. And that's just period. And I want to prove it to myself because I did not graduate from high school. My home life just wasn't really good. Wasn't like what it was supposed to be giving in my mind and in my dreams. Um, I got pregnant with my daughter at 17. I ended up dropping out of school two months before graduation. So I ended up going to Job Corps, getting my GED. And I just want to prove to myself also that... I am smart. It's not because I wasn't smart that I got my GED. It was situation sh stuff that made me go through what I went through. And plus my baby daddy went to prison. He got 12 damn years. I was only five or six months pregnant when we found out he was going to be sitting down for 12 years. So it's just something to prove to myself that I want to get my college degree and communications, okay? And I think I want to do something in voiceover too because they have something like that at the university. So I'm, I'm really, really excited. Plus the university got Starbucks and Panda Express and you know a girl love a good pink drink, okay? But I am really excited about the future. I am coming back with reviews, okay? I will do more of these chit chats and tell you what's been going on in my life for the week. You know that man, I don't know if you watched my Love is Blind review, but I was telling you the man that said I had double chins and he told me I look like Monique off of Love After Lockup. You know Monique with Derek? Yeah, he told me that. Why I check my block messages on my iPhone? That fool done left me messages talking about, I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. That was not right. I'm not talking to your little short motherfucking ass again. I don't care how much money you got, how much businesses you run. I'm not dealing with that abuse, okay? You can keep leaving block messages. I'm not talking to you. Plus, my mama friend said, hey, but this look, I, and I got to put up with your bullshit. With this? No, no, sir. No, sir. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do it, okay? But I think that's really it that's been going on in my life. I'm trying to think. My friend was here from Houston. We seen her Friday and hung out. So that was good. She's the one that got her body done. She got it done actually in Miami. But she was telling me, she's like, if I was home, I feel like I would have healed better. 
if I was at home. So I'm glad I can get it done right here at home. The only thing I'm scared of is going up them damn stairs. I live on the second floor, so I'm going to have to. And yeah, how did the snake get up there? We live on the second floor. I know they climb. I know they climb. Don't tell me no dumb shit. I know they climb. But how did it get up here? How? We got some birds. You know, you can't knock down no bird nest. That's against the law. We got these birds that don't pay no goddamn rent. That nest by our front door. Because it's like this little opening. It's like a cubby. Like where the roof meets or something. It's like a little trunk. They be living in there. Did they bring that motherfucker stick up to eat it? Did they? And he was trying to escape? Into my apartment? Oh my God. I'm going to have to talk to them birds. I'm going to have to talk to them birds because they ain't paid rent since I've been living here. Like, I've been here for almost four years and y'all are still here and then you let your food get away trying to get in my apartment. Whew. You know what? But I really think that's it. I'll be all over the place, y'all. If y'all was ever on the phone with me, this is exactly how it is. I'm all over the place. I didn't know power didn't come on this week, but they done leaked all that for the episode. I'm so damn pissed. I said, uh, I'm on Twitter reading it. Jamie Foxx is okay, I guess. He was playing pickleball, whatever that is, okay? Jonathan Majors, he dating Megan Good or something. I said, God, what is going on in the world? What is going on? Listen, I was sad about Jamie Foxx. I was like, not Jamie. Not because I plan on meeting Jamie. What do you mean? <laughs> I plan on meeting Jamie. We can play pickleball, whatever that is. I'll play it with you. Is it a ball with a hand? Is it a... I don't know what the fuck that is, but you know, if it's Jamie Foxx, seems like you're ready. Mm. I still like Jonathan Majors, but you know, you strangling hoes. I can't, listen, I can't get jiggy with that. Uh-uh. <laughs> I cannot get jiggy with that. Because once you've been through some domestic violence shit, you ain't right after that. You ain't right. And I've been there, done that, and I ain't right. I'll be telling men, don't reach to, you need to announce yourself. Don't reach across me. Don't make sudden moves. Because Listen, been there, done that, and I'll fuck you up before you can fuck me up, okay? Who? So, you know, I don't, mm -mm, if he doing that, strangling people, I can't, I don't care how good he is and how big his nose is. I cannot, but I'm glad Jamie Foxx is good. What else been going, that's really it. I ordered my daughter's graduation pictures. Listen, she graduated last year. I just ordered it because it said it was 30% off, Okay. <laughs> Let me show you my baby graduation. This was the only picture they gave us an option for. And I was like, y'all, this it? Y'all ain't got no other pictures. It's kind of, look at my baby graduated. Oh, my baby graduated. She did something me and her daddy both didn't do. Because he, I think he got his GED in prison. And my other daughter, her daddy got his GED too. But she going to be graduating too in a few years. So, ordered that for her. But it was, they said 30% off. But I still had to pay like, $20, $30 for this one picture. Like, mm, how am I going to get my money back? Put it in a Dollar Tree frame. That's what I'm going to do. That, she said, you can have it in your room. Girl, I don't want you looking at me. We're going to put this in the living room next to your diploma. What's wrong with you? But I really think that is it. I done kicked Mia and Aladdin out my room because my room too small for all these her and Aladdin and she sleep with the TV on. I cannot sleep with the TV on. Like it's been bothering me all week. I ain't had good sleep at all. I am a person that sleeps in the pitch black. Okay. I need darkness. I don't need no light. I don't like no light. I will even unplug my TV because you know how sometimes I got that little red light. That even bothers me. So I had to kick my little roommates out. Sure did. Okay. And what else? This top is from Forever 21. Okay. Forever 21. It's cute. And my nails is matte. Did y'all see? I did something a little different. She's like, you want matte? Because it's not going to be shiny. I was like, girl, give me what it gave on Pinterest. And this is what it gave. Oh, I love these nails. These is my favorite nails. These is my favorite nails. Okay? Listen. But I hope y'all all have a good week coming. A uh, good Mother's Day. Uh, do something nice for yourself. I don't plan on doing nothing. My little one came out. She's like, mama, what we doing today? Oh, do you think I'm about to pay for you to go out to eat on Mother's Day? That is not how that works. That, I just don't think that's how that works. I was like, I don't plan on doing shit. I want to just lay here. Power didn't come on. I mean, I'm just going to lay here, okay? I watched Real Housewives of Atlanta in that Martha's Vineyard show. That was good. I've been watching Miss Davis. That's good. It's on Peacock. What else I've been watching? I ain't really just been watching stuff. Oh, Silo? 
It's on um, Apple TV. It's real good. Real, real good. It's it's a little mystery. I like sci-fi. I never knew I liked the sci-fi till a few years ago. And I was like, yeah, I mess with sci-fi. I like that kind of mystery. I'm trying to figure out stuff before it happened. So that's really it. I've just been blabbering, y'all. And don't tell me I don't need a tummy tuck because y'all ain't seen my body, okay? I can show you my body. Let me show you my body. Because I know some of y'all only see me from... See, I don't know. I'm far, huh? But see, this got to go. This got to go, honey. Am I far? Am I? Y'all remember when I taught y'all how to ride some D? Don't even. If you didn't see that video, you missed out. But yeah, I need this gone, okay? This gone, okay? And maybe we'll talk about the boobies, but the doctor said my boobs is only a half an inch saggy, so he like, you don't need that scar to lift them up a half an inch. I was like, but maybe I do. Because <laughs> I don't like to wear bra. I like to be free, free as a bird. N not the birds living in the wall the little cubby part not them because they definitely is living free and good okay like share comment subscribe i will see y'all at the end of the week because all them shows coming on the africans and them helpers that never sell no house okay Th i didn't know that one off the show had a baby with nick cannon i said did she when did she have a baby you know what we gonna see like share comment and subscribe bye y'all